editor Derek here with bodysurfinghandboard.com. If you do not know how to apply wax to your handboard, do not worry because I got you covered. In this video, I will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to apply wax to your body surfing handboard. For a list of steps, you know, in case you don't feel like going through watching this whole entire video, you can go to bodysurfinghandboard.com slash how to wax a body surfing handboard. There I list all the steps that we will be going over here and also the list of items that you need. Now before we get into uh, applying wax to your handboard, you want to make sure you have the previous wax that's on your handboard completely removed. You want to scrape it off, you want to start from scratch, you want a clean board. Obviously if you have a new board then you are already good to go okay so let's get to it the first step I have for you is to designate your working surface okay you want it to be flat you want it to be sturdy and you want it to be clean so you could use a table or even you could use the floor all right once you have designated your working surface, you want to put down a protective barrier. So something like a surf mat, a drop cloth, a comforter, a towel, or something. This will prevent your board from getting scratched and also the surface that you're working on from getting scratched. Uh, so once you have the protective barrier down, it's time to remove the hand strap from your handboard. If you have a slide handboard, this is very easy to do. Uh, there's two screws on either side of the strap, so all you want to do is take a Phillips screwdriver or a power drill or something and just, and just loosen those up and then um, remove, the hand remove the hand strap from the handboard. The reason why we want to remove the, the hand strap from the handboard is because it would be a pain to, to put the wax around the hand strap. It kind of just gets in the way, so we need to remove that completely. Once the hand strap is removed, um, we need to clean the surface of the board. So to do this, you can use denatured alcohol, just moisten a paper towel or a microfiber with, with some of that solution and then clean your board thoroughly. You can also use coconut oil, which does a great job of breaking down any residue or, or dirt that's on your board. But if you do use coconut oil, make sure to wash it afterwards with soap and water to remove any excess oiliness or slickness that's on your board which can make it super slippery okay once your board is clean it's time to apply the wax but you want to make sure you have the correct type of wax I made a video on how to determine which wax to use based on your climate and ocean temperature if you forget or don't know what wax to get you can uh, fortunately, I made a handy table that you can reference over at bodysurfinghandboard.com slash best handboard wax. There, uh, in that table, I list the different types of wax and their corresponding ideal ocean temperature ranges that they should be used in. So make sure to go there and get the correct type of wax that you need. All right, so before we... Um, apply the wax to our board, it's important to know where to apply it on the board, right? So I'm drawing a quick diagram here of a body surfing handboard. And it's important to not apply wax to the entire board because it would just be a waste. You really only want to apply wax where your hand is going to be. So roughly this will take up about 60% of the board. So in this diagram that I just drew, you can see in between the top line and the bottom line is where you want to put the wax. Anything outside of that is unnecessary, not useful, and it's just a waste. Okay? So that's where you want to put it. Now, when applying the wax, you want to use a cross-hatching technique. It's what I use, it's what I find to be the best and provide the best grip, and also applies wax most efficiently. In order to do that, you want to use a claw grip to easily apply the wax that way. A claw grip is similar to the way you hold a pencil. So here's the wax. You actually want to rotate it, okay? And then put your index finger on top, thumb on the side, middle finger on the other side. And from there, you're going to be drawing diagonal lines with the corner edge of the wax, all right? cross-hatch technique is very simple. 
just drawing diagonal, diagonal lines going one way across the board and then drawing diagonal lines going the other way across the board. So in my diagram, I'm going to start from the top left of the board and draw diagonal lines every inch or so until I reach the bottom right hand side of my board. Again, I'm putting, applying the wax in between those two lines that I mentioned earlier. So it looks like this. Okay. You want to do the same thing with the wax going the opposite direction. Okay. Drawing diagonal lines from the top right every inch or so going down to the bottom left like so. So now you have this, okay? The cross hatch. It forms little diamonds. Once you have that, you actually want to adjust the grip on your wax from this to the same claw grip, but holding the wax slightly different this way. Because now you're going to apply the wax going up and down using this edge, which makes it more efficient and easier to apply. So basically you're going up and down over those cross hack sections until they form little sticky bumps. Now that is exactly what you want to happen, okay? Because this will increase, the, this will make the grip more natural, it'll feel better. Um, it'll just give you a better overall attachment to the board with your hand, okay? So now that you got the wax applied to your satisfaction, it's time to reinstall or reattach the hand strap. Before you do that, you want to clean out the little screw holes, all right, because I'm sure some wax probably got in there. You can just use your Phillips head, stick it in there, twist it around a little bit, and then blow the hole out, and those will be cleaned. And then take the strap, align the holes properly, twist the screws back in, you want to make sure they're nice and secure so that hand strap does not move, okay? We don't want it coming off when you're out in the ocean. So once that's nice and tight back on your board, it's time to test it out. Take it out into the ocean, go for a few rides. If you don't feel the grip, the proper grip that you need or you've, you feel like there's not as much friction as you were hoped, take the board back out and reapply the wax as I showed you until more bumps are formed over those crosshatch sections. That should give you the grip that you need. Okay. Again, all these steps can be found at bodysurfinghandboard.com slash how to wax a body surfing handboard. Again, waxing your handboard is completely optional. It's just something I do to get that extra grip so my performance can be better, so I can turn better, and just so you know the board doesn't slip out of my hand. Um, so yeah, make sure to like, subscribe to stay up to date with any more informational, helpful tips and tricks that I got for you. Peace.